Hey everyone, it's Finn Hale, and do you know why I love Recon Pro? Well, check this out. I draw same text to A flag, and pretty much every single member of the enemy team has been painted on our map. And every time I play Dome, the, uh, Domination on Dome, and I spawn on this side, I like to draw same text to A flag because it it paints the enemy members to our map for like uh, the first 10 seconds, and that's how I got that easy semtex double kill because i knew where these guys were anyway as you can see mp5 is my fifth inductee to my uh triple g which stands for golden gun gallery yeah i know it's original in the uh, zero prestige i had golden cm901 at the first prestige i had golden pp90 m1 and at the second prestige i had golden m4a1 and at third prestige I had golden MG26 and now at the fourth prestige I have golden MP5 and uh, well I don't have it anymore since I have prestige again I'm prestige 5 now so I'm halfway to prestige 10 yes I'm still going for the 10th prestige and I kinda, I kinda failed when I, when I was using silencer with this weapon because I think something like rapid fire range would be better because I don't want to take anything away from this, the range of this weapon anyway the topic of today is drop shotting and this is example of drop shotting right here the idea is to go prone and shoot at the same time and uh, it's it's actually one of my favorite strategies because let's say if the enemy uh, already has its aim aims on you and is shooting on you and uh, you manage to escape escape his aim by going prone and uh, shooting at the same time it's pretty hard for the enemy to recover anymore because most likely he's aiming a little above you and not only is aiming a little off you you're shooting him at the same time and his screen is flinching and it's pretty hard for him to get his sights on uh, sights on you anymore and since, since you die pretty fast in Modern Warfare 3 he's most likely already a dead man and uh, here is a great example of drop shotting next in the next clip you can see really soon right here so the first kill here is an exact, exactly a drop shot because I just crouched down but this one right here as you can see I prone right in front of him I don't think he even saw where I was like where did I go but he didn't land a single bullet on me so that's why it, it works really well when you are like all red and wounded and uh, you encounter one enemy and uh, some call it cheap some call drop shotting cheap strategy but I don't see it because it does take skill and effort to master the strategy completely even today I sometimes fail it but uh, it has saved me more than once so it's definitely a good strategy to use so uh, I think they're just mad because they got killed even though they thought it was written to stars that they were gonna get killed over you but it was not the case so after I ki killed the same guy twice I still have one last example of perfect drop shot and uh, what makes it so special is because I think it's because uh, if I hadn't drop shot it, I would have been dead man. Because as you can see right here, I encountered this enemy downstairs. He had FMG9 akimbo, but I still took him out really easily and he didn't land one bullet on me. And you know how overpowered those FMG9 akimbos are. They're in close range, they will take you out in a split second, you know. And uh, I normally don't drop shot so often, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to get some clips on this video and... I only use drop shotting pretty much if I'm wounded or I encounter multiple enemies or if I need to reload my weapon or something and it has saved me more than once and uh, here is a uh, <laughs> nice picture it's a picture of a Finnish team getting ready to own some noobs I'm the guy going prone and there's Tebuzone in the back and uh, Tebuzone's friend I think and the left side Tauskasi and Astioni so it seems and there's one more thing about drop shotting i like to tell you guys on ps3 it's a lot easier to drop shot if you play on tactical button layout or tactical flipped yeah and the reason is well 
it doesn't really matter if you're using tactical or tactical flip, it's pretty much how do you prefer, but uh, I, I use tactical flipped. And you can turn the wheel while you're going brown if you're using the tactical layout or tactical flip. And it doesn't really favor your knifing because you need to knife from the circle button, but you will you will get used to it, so don't worry. Anyway, thanks for watching, please comment, rate and subscribe.